Take up, thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people, thou hast covered all their sins, thou hast made all their wrath to cease, thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. Turn us back, O God, of our salvation, and turn away thine anger from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us into the ages, or wilt thou drop thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn in quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in me. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation be thou given to us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints and to them that turn their heart unto him. Surely nine to them that fear him is his salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth has sprung up out of the earth, and righteousness that looked down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give goodness, and our land shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. Bow down then, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy, and save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in me. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day long. Make glad the soul of thy servant, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and gentle and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of mine affliction have I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come and shall worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and workest wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the death of most Hades. O God, transgressors have risen up against me, and the assembly of the mighty hath sought after my soul, and they have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, my God, art compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and true. Look upon me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thy handmaiden. Work in me a sign unto good, and let them that hate me behold and be put to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast holden me and comforted me. Work in me a sign unto good, and let them that hate me behold and be put to shame. For thou, O Lord, hast holden me and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. While the tomb was sealed, thou, O life, didst shine forth from the grave of Christ God, and while the doors were shut, thou didst come unto thy disciples, the resurrection of all, renewing through them an upright spirit in us, according to thy great mercy. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. O thou who for our sake was born of a virgin, and didst suffer crucifixion, O good one, and is dispel death by death, and as God has revealed the resurrection, disdain not them which thou hast fashioned with thy hand. Show forth thy love for mankind, the merciful one. Accept the Theotokos who gave thee birth and intercedeth for us, and do thou our Savior, save the despairing people. <coughs> Deliver us not up utterly for thy holy name's sake, neither disannul thou thy covenant, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us. For Abraham's sake thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, light on our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With his searching right hand, Thomas did probe thy light bearing side, O Christ God. For when thou didst enter while the doors were shut, he cried out to thee with the rest of the disciples, Thou art my Lord and my God. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who loveth the righteous and hast mercy on sinners, who calls all the salvation through the promise of good things to come. 
Receive, O oh Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life with thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith, and then all to thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou in the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the word, the very thing of Tokos, and we magnify the name of the Lord, Father of loves. And be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who art long suffering in the face of our transgressions, and who has brought us even into this present hour, wherein thou dost hang upon the life giving tree, and this make the way into paradise for the wise thief, and by death this destroy death. Be gracious unto us sinners and thine unworthy servants, for we have sinned and committed iniquity, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and to behold the height of heaven. We have abandoned the way of thy righteousness and have walked in the desires of our hearts. But we beseech thy boundless goodness. Spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake, for our days were consumed in vanity. Rescue us from the hand of the adversary, and forgive us our sins, and mortify our carnal mind. But putting aside the old man, we may be clad with the new, and live for thee, our master and benefactor. And that thus, by following thy commandments, we may attain to rest everlasting, wherein is the dwelling place of them that rejoice. For thou art indeed the joy and the gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God. And unto thee do we send up glory with an unoriginate Father, and most holy and good, and thy creating spirit, now endeavored unto the ages of ages. Amen. This is our God, our Son, ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, counting that death by death, and upon us in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, counting that death by death, and upon us in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, counting down death by death, and upon those in the tombs you shall be fine. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Compassion and majesty hast thou put on, who coverest thyself with light as with a garment, who stretchest out the heaven as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointeth the clouds for his ascent. Who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angels, spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth in the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss, like a garment, is his mantle, upon the mountain shall the water stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointest a bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains will the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, the wild asses away to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven march, from the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watcheth the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He caused the grass to grow for the cattle and greener for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine make it glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil, and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows <coughs> make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou pointest the darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad, young lions roaring after their prey, and seeking their fruit from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in dens. But man shall go forth unto his work, and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea. Therein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there this dragon, and thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it, then they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. 
When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth, and maketh it tremble, who toucheth the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life, I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. O oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. The sun knoweth his going down, now appointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom as thou made them all. The sun knoweth his going down, now appointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. O oh, that sinners would cease in the earth, and they that work iniquity, the fish shall be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. From above in the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. This holy temple and for them with faith, reverence, and the fear of God is her herein. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our great Lord and Father, his holiest patriarch here is, for our Lord, the very most reverend metropolitan Hilarion, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ. For all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all the noble Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commandite Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this land, its authorities and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. God preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy monastery, for every city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That he may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. All in your remembrance, our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves in one another and all our life unto Christ our God.
voice in my supplication when I cry unto thee, hearken unto thee, O Lord. Let my prayer be set forth as incense before thee, the lifting of my hands as an evening sacrifice, hearken unto thee, O Lord. Incline not my heart into words of evil to make excuse for excuses and sins. But men that work iniquity, and I will not join with their chosen. The righteous man will chasten me with mercy and reprove me. As for the oil of the sinner, let him not anoint my head. For yet more is my prayer in the presence of their pleasures. Fall it up me about the rock of their judges' being. May I tell you my words, for they be seasoned. As a cloud of earth is broken upon the earth, so let their bones be scattered and I am buried. Unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, of mine eyes, and thee have I hope, shake not my soul. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and from the stumbling blocks of them that work in each of you. The sinners shall fall into their own merit, I am alone until I pass by. With my voice unto the Lord of my cry, with my voice unto the Lord of my supplication. How for I before him my supplication, my affliction before him while I declare. When my spirit was fainting within me, then I knew it my cause. In this way, when I have walked, they have me a snare. I looked upon my right hand, and beheld, and there was none that could know me. By that fail me, and there is none that watched out from my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my hope, my portion, that thou in the land of the living. Attend unto my supplications, I am brought very low. Deliver me from them that persecute me, for they are strong than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may confess thy name. The righteous shall wait patiently for me until thou shalt reward me. Out of the depths of my cries unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, in my voice, that thine ears be attended to the voice of my supplication. Thou shouldest mark the victories, O Lord, O Lord, in such hand. For with thee there is forgiveness. More radiantly through the sands of stars, and I shall glory and come forth upon the fairy floor, and light and creation with your life's presence, O most precious Savior, and dispelling the gloom of the passions, and the darkness of the demons, wherefore we call thee blessed. And carefully hid me as a beacon for the whole world, and a fervent intercessor. When I need to think of thy patiently waiting for thee, O Lord, my soul is waiting patiently for thy word. My soul hath looked in the Lord. O wise Lord, you're having a quiet heavenly things through the things of earth, and permanent things through that which is transitory, rejoicing that it's receiving corrupt glory through corruptible things, and patiently through tortures and wounds for the word of God, that is swept in count and the kingdom, Wherein rejoicing, O glorious one, with those who suffer with thee, pray thou for all who praise thee with him. The morning watch until night from the morning watch, let Israel hope in the Lord. The shafts of thy words wound in the assemblies of the iniquitous, so hard to see me on. For which cause the clouds of heaven lifted up their voice, and the choirs of the incorporeal ones came together in joy, marveling at the patience of thy struggles. Wherefore rejoicing we honor with faith that holy repose, glorifying the Savior. We food with the Lord, there is mercy within his plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquities, as a quite acceptable heart. Thou beholdest the noetic tabernacles, and as them not saved to see them awaiting in heavenly sights, arrayed in holiness, clad in righteousness and magnificence, and face to face, O blessed one. 
Thou beholdest the beauty of the poetic thing. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye peoples. O venerable Father of Cacchaeus, furnishing the mind with wings to fly to God with faith, that is his day, the disorderly state of the world, and taking up thy cross, thou didst follow after him who seeth all things, enslaving to thy mind the intemperance of thy body, through fears of a sadism, by the power of the divine spirit. We have made his mercy to prevail over us, and the truth of the Lord abideth forever. Show to the appointment of the godly counsel, a preeminent material. O a cock, he has thought it's been with the wickedness glorious to damnation. He has in his mind this is so blessed one, and putting his vanity to shame with spiritual discourse, will for every soul call it the blessed. Celebrating with faith a divine memory. Glory to the now and the Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O our glorious wonder, and belief hath intended a certain faith. For Thomas said, If I do not see, I will not believe. But when he had touched his side, he theologized that he is the Son of God incarnate, acknowledged that he suffered in the flesh, proclaimed the resurrected one God, and cried out with a splendid voice, My Lord and my God, glory to thee. Joyous light of the holy glory of the immortal heavenly, holy, blessed Father, o Jesus Christ, having come to the setting of the sun, having beheld the evening light, we praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God, needed it is for thee at all times to be him with reverent voices, O Son of God, giver of life, wherefore the world doth glorify thee. Let us attend, peace be unto all, and peace be unto all. O God, in the name of the Savior, and in thy strength, do thou judge me. O God, in the name of the Savior, and in thy strength, do thou judge me. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give ear unto the words of my mouth. O God, in thy name of the Savior, and in thy strength, do thou judge me. Thou judge me. Outsafe, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hope in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever, disdain not the work of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due a song, to thee glory is due. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. The Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. The Lord have mercy. And the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. O peace and faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. And may complete the reigning time of our life in peace.
peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Guide this, O Lord. Christian endings to our light, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Guide this, O Lord. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious, Eddie Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Who is here, O Lord, O Lord. Lord, thou and the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. The kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. What's the tomb was here? The whole life did shine forth from the grave, O Christ God. And what's the doors were shut? Thou didst come unto thy disciples for resurrection of all. Be ruling through them and a bright spirit in us, according to thy great mercy. And us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for our great Lord and Father, his holiness, patriarch, Kirill, for our Lord, the very most reverend, metropolitan, hilarion, first hierarch of the Russian Church of God, and all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for our old and noble father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commander, I serve him, and all his brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for this land, its authorities, and armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for the God to serve Russian life and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy monastery, and for all our fathers and brethren gone to their rest before us, and the Orthodox here and everywhere they to rest. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon and remission of the sins of the servants of God, the brethren of this holy monastery. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And thou mightest look down with a merciful eye upon the people of the Ukrainian land and make her unconquerable by those who work strike. We pray the O kind hearted Lord Mark and then have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray to our Lord and Savior that he might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety, and grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we will bless the building of our new church, and that its foundation may be laid successfully to the glory of his name, and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion by the power, operation, and grace of the Most Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and that chant, and for all the people here present, who await the great and abundant mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Merciful God, art thou and the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Wisdom. Amen. Amen. He is his blessed Christ our God, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Establish, O God, the Holy Orthodox, faith of Orthodox Christians, unto the ages of ages. O Most Holy Theotokos, who are honorable in the cherubim, and we are to bear more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos, do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Amen. Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead with the intercessions of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the intercessions of the holy, glorious, and all-praised apostles, of our Father among the saints, Nicholas the Wonderworker, Archbishop of Myra and Lycia, of the holy great martyr and healer of Pantalema, of our holy father, Simeon of Persia, of our holy father, Agathius, Bishop of Melitini, and of our holy father, Zosimus of Solopi, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the lover of mankind. Amen. Our Lord, the very most heavenly body, Amen. Metropolitan, Eastern America, and New York, we are sorry after the Russian Church of God, the all venerable abbot of this holy monastery, of the red right Sarah of them, the brethren of this holy monastery, and all Orthodox Christians, reasonable look for many years.